In my last video, I showed you how to model this building in easy way. If you didn't watch it, make sure to go and watch it or else. Just kidding. I could do nothing. Kidding. After modeling that building, I stole these two buildings in Blender Kit and set them up like this. And also I uh, set up a camera over here. After rendering this, as a lazy person that I am, I thought this render looks good. But for others, this will not look good until I add textures and lighting for for this environment. So keeping lighting aside, let's focus on textures because lighting is not my strong suit and I am not that good at it to explain you. For textures, we can just download some textures from website like Polyheaven and Polygon etc and bring them to Blender and plug them into Pincel BSDF and call it a day. But where is fun and pain in all that? So to eliminate fun and pain, let's learn Substance Painter and then texture this building in Substance Painter. All jokes aside, learning Substance Painter is not that hard. If you know basics of Photoshop, it will be very easy. Even if you are not familiar with the Photoshop, no problem. It will be easy to learn because you are watching this video. First, to texture a model, you need to UV unwrap your model first. Go to, go into edit mode, select all faces, click U and click U, Smart UV project. You need to make seams and all that. I am not using the Substance Painter's UDIM, UDIM method. For UDIM method, you need to make UV tiles, uh, make proper UV seams and all that. I'll make another video on that. This is just a simple video on how to add basic textures to your models. After unwrapping it, go into your material mode, add some uh, name to your material, use some name, just th that's all, don't need to do anything else. After that, you need to select what models you're going to export to Texture and Substance Painter. Me, I'm going to select this block, this one, this one, and this railing. I'm just going to select these four models. To keep it short, you'll understand uh, basics with these four models. Also. File, Export, SBX, here, select this option so that you're only going to export these four models, not a whole project. And then give it your desired name and then op open up your Substance Painter. Come into Substance Painter to import the models, go into File, New. Here, select your uh, exported FBX file which you have exported from Blender. And then keep the resolution as 4K, format as OpenGL. I just check this button, don't know what it does. I check this button always, that's it. We are not going to talk about UDIMs in Substance Painter. To make this video work, you should make proper seams and uh, proper UV unwrapping of the model. And you should, you should also increase the UV tiles in the in Blender. It is a whole, whole lot exporting process before coming here. I will make another video on that. For now, we will use normal process. After doing that, our models will be imported here. Now, our next step is to bake the models. To bake the models, click this croissant button here. After clicking on this button, you will come into this menu. I will show you some basics here. Uh, keep output size as 4K, that's, a, that's what everyone will use maximum of the time. And click this button where it says uh, use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. Because this is, this is only the mesh we have, we don't have any like high poly de detailed mesh uh, which we can bake from. At present we don't have that, so we are just going to use this as high poly mesh, that's it. And here we don't need this thickness and position. After that, come into this ID, change the color source as ID and poly group, color generate into random. After that, come to ambient collision, increase the second DRS, and that's it. Now, click on bake textures. It will take some time. Our baking is done. Now, after our baking is done, if you are seeing these white lines, that is because of your graphic card issue, you should turn off ray tracing in settings. For that, come to edit, select on settings, come down, and here you can uh, deselect this uh, enable G GPU ray tracing and bake again. After disabling the ray tracing, our bake is done again. Come back to here, now you can see how bake is done properly. Now before going into texturing, let me explain you some basics about Substance Painter and its interface and its uh, movements. Starting from here, here you will have all your assets, these are normal materials, they are smart assets, these are masks, these are filters, these are brushes and these are normal pictures from you can uh, paste on these uh, models. Difference between materials and smart materials, material will just have uh, a simple texture but whereas smart materials will have all the adjustments to it. I'll show you in the in later process of the video. Smart materials will have different settings to change and uh, uh, play around with them, but materials will not have them. That's the main difference between them, and that's it. And coming up here, you can turn off any meshes if you don't want to see them at present, like this. Same as Photoshop and Blender, everything, every other 3D, 3D project. And one more thing is, you can just view one model which you have selected. At present, I selected this one, so I'm viewing this model. If I select this one, I'll, I'll view this model. Like that, we can shift to different models so, so that you can just view one model and concentrate on that one. I'll change back to this one at present. 
and coming to the top you can change your brush size and all that flow opacity and all that and over here you can change your view between 3d and 2d 2d view means you will have your materials on your uv tile here is your 3d view i will prefer 3d view only mostly and this is your baking tab as you all know before we went to that this is your normal painting tab here here you will view all your textures which you have applied for suppose if i apply this texture here it will appear it will appear here and these are all your text settings we will mess with that later in this video and that's it for the basics and interface of sasan painter now what you have to do is think of what texture we need to apply to this blocks i am thinking for the top block i'll uh, apply some brick texture and some bottom bottom block i'll apply some uh, redwood texture that's it from there we can build a build on top of them and uh, make some uh, dirtiness and some dirty concrete on them i'll show you how i'm planning to do to get this brick texture and redwood texture I'll go to Substance Painter Community Assets and then pick up some assets and I'll come back to you. I selected my brick texture and wood texture. I'll have to delete these two layers and I'll I'll drag my selected brick texture here. I selected this texture because it had some cracks and some dirtiness to it. At present, when you apply a texture in Substance Painter, most probably the texture will be uh, very large in size. To decrease that, come here, go into Tiling. I'll make it as four. I think this is okay. You can decrease it according to your wish and rotate it in any degrees. I think this look this looks good for now. And also make sure to save your project. I didn't save my project. Let me save it. Otherwise, you have to redo this uh, baking process again. It is one hell of a headache. Now we have saved our project. Next thing I want to show you is if you observe this block, we don't need our brick texture inside the walls, and also we don't need the texture over here. To remove that, we need to add a mask. Come over here, click on this, add a black mask. Everything will become white. Same as Photoshop. If you paint over this, the texture will appear. If you go over this block and draw all over it, it will be a tedious process and it will be very hard if it come over here like this. So don't do this one. I'll show you another method. After adding this black mask, come over here, go to Polyfill tab. Here, what you can do is select on this option, change the color from black to white. Now select the pieces where you want your texture to appear, like this. If your texture gets inside like this, don't worry. All you have to do is bring this letter back into black color. Now select this one. I can change this to white. Select these cubes. That's it. Now go back to painting. With that. We have selected our texture where where, it, where we want it to be. Now, next thing I want to do is change the settings of textures a bit. Now, click here to get the uh, texture settings. Pull this up. First, let me change the wall color to a bit brighter, and I'll increase the crack spread to 0.8 and crack amount to 0.3 maybe. Let me check. After some visualization, I came to this conclusion. I increase the crack spread to 0.8, crack amount to 0.3, decrease the width to 3. and made some bricks unstuck unstuck added this green substance by increasing this slider all this for just a single texture this looks good for now we'll have, if you want to add anything else we'll add afterwards moving on we'll add some textures to this bottom too also first things first let's read this layer let's apply that redwood texture i am talking about this one this looks good i also add some uh, brown wood texture and i'll do some uh, height differences by using anchors i'll show you this is some plain wood now using this both textures how i want this to look is i want the red wood uh, to appear on top and i want this plain wood to appear beneath the red wood first add a mask on this layer and click on this magic wand and add a paint layer similar to this mask layer if you draw on this paint layer it will appear like this same thing you are doing on mask layer we will be doing on paint layer also now next thing is click on this magic magic wand again add this add anchor point this is our anchor point which will reference everything below this below this layer now add a fill layer mask fill layer for this we only need height because we want the red wood to appear on top and that plain wood to appear on bottom of the red wood so all we want is height increase the height to 0.3 or 4 let me keep 4 now for this fill layer add a black mask and for this black black mask click on magic wand and add a fill layer 
now instead of this grayscale image go to anchor points add the anchor point to created here now that's all done now simply go to this paint layer now and paint on this let me increase the height fully and let me change the brush to uh, something like this one now if you see there is height difference in this let me show clearly if i decrease the height to minus 1 it is going inside if i increase the height to 1 it is coming outside as i want the brown wood to appear behind the red wood i'll decrease height to minus 1 not minus 1 no i don't want that much deeper like minus 6 is okay 6 or 5 is okay now go to paint layer i'll just erase all this add some patches like this now if you see closely the red wood is on top it looks like the paint is uh, gone or for these places and it is looking like this now this is how you make height differences similarly you can also add some roughness here give some roughness to this you can add some metallic colors you can add different colors with this anchor point you can do many things best part of this is this you can go back to this paint layer and remove whatever things you want for now i just want only height detail so i'm turning off this color and roughness now next thing is i want this green moss to appear in this uh, edges also for that what we will do is i will add another fill layer here it will become white i don't need metallic properties i don't need normal properties i need height color and roughness properties for base color i think we can make it greener maybe this is fine in place of roughness we will uh, take any of these textures let me select this one and with height also we will increase the height up to 0.3 maybe now this is done add a mask again black mask now select your brush we will select a different brush here now go, go over like this like this we have some green moss here also if you want after if you don't like this color if you want some red color you can go back change the color anything anything else this is how you add another uh, extra layers and extra details to the textures after that is done i want some readiness to this block so go into a smart material here you will have this uh, dirty smart material dirt smart material apply that here now you will get this texture now let me show you how this edge mask works here add a black mask pick any ma any edge mask you want i'll pick this dust, dust mask drop it in this mask over here so you can see after doing that there is a uh, lot less dirt the dirt is just in uh, these edges over here and uh, in some places not overall you can also uh, add multiple masks like this i add this mask now i'll add another mask here also with this a lot more dirt appear like that you can drop mini mask or and also you can click on this mask and draw your uh, draw it by yourself yes that's your wish now let's work on this top block now for this top block i want some concrete tree bars and some concrete rust i will drop those textures now the texture look like looks like this as usual the texture is uh, big for this model let me increase the tiling up to 7 8 ok now let's hide this texture by adding a black mask now similarly what you have done to this wood by sending a uh, uh, plain wood back and red wood popping out same i'll do this here i'll make it as uh, there is a dent so that because of the dent this rebars are appearing same thing repeat black mask for this we'll add a paint layer on top of this paint layer anchor on top of this a fill layer a black mask for this fill layer in this fill layer just keep only height and increase the height up to 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.4 now for this black mask add a, add a fill layer and on this fill layer in place of grayscale take your anchor point that's it now go and paint in your paint layer this looks ok but we can improve this by adding some filters to this on top of this fill layer add a levels adjustment layer this level adjustment layer you can drag these uh, points so that you can see some changes here by dragging them I think that's look good and I can add a filter in this filter select high pass filter 
increase the radius a bit so you can see the change that is happening now this looks good now all we have to do is go to a paint layer expose all the rebars where they are if you're following along with me don't overdo it it will look bad if you overdo it just do it in some spots that's it also make sure that they are uh, the sizes of this uh, patching is uneven don't keep it as same size and that's it now we'll add some concrete dust now again i'll increase the tiling up to four maybe four is too much up to three maybe up to three and i'll add a b black mask similar to what i did to the dirt texture i will take this uh, mask and drop it in this now this looks like a damaged building block and last and finally i will drop this dirt texture on top of this I want this to be less subtle so that I'll uh, take a black mask and decrease this opacity of the brush and paint over here. I think this looks good. Now next we have to texture this board, this window and this uh, decor. For that, I'll drop this painted wood texture on the on this. Now tiling is fine. Now I need some dirt and some moss on this one. So I'll go to this corner block. I'll copy this layer which has the which I created uh, like a green moss. Copy, uh, copy this. And come back to this decor and paste it on top of this layer. Now simply draw on this one. Now finally I can drop this dirt texture on top of this. Now similarly I'll do this for this one also. First, we have done so many, so much process for these blocks. Sometimes we can also do this simply by just going here and searching for paint and just taking paint texture dropping it here I'll, I'll not do any changes for this as this railing is very small in my scene most of the people will not even notice this so I'll also drop this uh, resolution down from 4k to 2k so that bl in blender my memory can be saved this easily you can make textures in uh, substance painter just by dropping any random uh, any texture you want from this selected assets or from substance matter community website you don't need to change anything for some things for, for some time for some things you need to add some textures on top of them to get your desired textures that's it for the video if you didn't understand what i'm talking in this video i learned from these three videos mostly i will drop a link you can watch them if you don't understand this properly and i'm trying to i'm trying my best to explain you that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one